Good morning. My name is Jason Valeria. I'm the program chair for the IELT program here at South Texas College. And first and foremost, I would like to thank Mr. Williams for giving me this opportunity to present about the IELT program here at South Texas College. The title of my presentation for this morning is Now is the Perfect Time because looking at the statistics as far as projection of jobs for nurses is concerned, that nearly 2.4 million healthcare jobs will be opened by 2014. And the reason for that is, this is as, as a result of the Obama's healthcare law called the Affordable Care Act that each person in America would now have health insurance. Meaning to say that each one of us will now be entitled to promotive services, curative services, and rehabilitative services. No matter how controversial Obama's healthcare law is, it's pro nursing as far as creating jobs for us nurses. Second reason, by the year 2015, all 50 states will suffer the nursing shortage. And the reason for that is, again, according to research, majority of the nurses that are working right now in America, as far as acute care setting is concerned, that the age bracket of registered nurses is between 50 to 55 years old. And looking at the retirement projection, once the economy picks up, who will be the next one to retire? We call them the baby boomers, so we need to replace them. And looking at the statistics, state by state, location by location analysis, that the uh, shortage of RN is going to be most intense in the South and in the West. So it is job security for us nurses. Let's take a quick look of how much we earn as an RN, and this is according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Department of Labor 2013 edition. That the average pay of an RN is close to 65000 annually, and to put that into perspective per hour is $31.48 per, per hour, and that is the base rate. When I say the base rate, if you work in hospitals, some hospitals that if you work weekends, they're going to give you 2 to $3 more on top of your base rate. Some hospitals that if you work night shift, they're going to give you, again, incentives in terms of money uh, on top of your base rate. The good news here is the entry level, the basic entry to practice nursing in our area and across the United States is the associate degree uh, program, which is the degree that we offer here at South Texas College. We are very fortunate that our institution offers a variety of healthcare career options for you, but my main important question to each of my students is, is nursing right for you? It takes a lot of commitment, dedication, knowledge, skills, uh, care, and compassion when we take care of our patient. Before I go any further, let me just give you a glimpse of what we do as nurses. The, the art and science of medicine combined with awesome nursing care can perform miracles. There are some who live precarious with all they have to do. There are some who have comfort to share. Exhausting. There's nothing I'd rather be. But it's always rewarding. There's no other profession in the world that you touch people physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually than like nursing. It's a human experience. It's part of why we're here, why we exist. I I love the realness of, of life. It's life. Being a registered nurse takes a special kind of person. I want to help people. That's just the kind of person that I am. You have to be intelligent, committed, educated. I want to make a difference in the world. But if you're willing to do what it takes, the rewards can be substantial. It's a fabulous career to have. It gives me flexibility. It is open. The more education that I, I get, the more doors open and job opportunities. As a registered nurse, you have few, if any, limits. You could be a pediatric nurse, you could be a labor and delivery nurse, you could be a psychiatric clinician. You could be anything you want in nursing. Today, nurses can practice anywhere. In hospitals, corporations, law, government, the military. And capable nurses are needed all over the world. 
I like the learning, I like the new technology, I like staying head on medical research because it helps me take better care of my patients. It's always a new challenge. We are part of a, of a team. As an integral part of the medical team, registered nurses bring their own special talents and expertise to patient care. Nursing blends a scientific mind, technological know-how, and a compassionate heart into one unique package. I feel like I can't help but take care of people. It's what I do. I like the challenge of um, helping others in need. I find it a, a wonderful way to pay back and help out in society. Nursing is powerful work. Not many professions offer you the chance to touch lives and make a difference the way nursing does. Being a nurse is about holding someone's hand. Being a nurse is about giving a really good shot to a six-year-old who's terrified. It's about putting an ice pack and making it better uh, on someone or getting the wrinkles out of the back of a sheet that's causing someone to be uncomfortable who has to lay in the bed. They don't have any other place to go. They have to be there. And, and, and sometimes just you know, rubbing someone's back is, is the answer to all their prayers. Right now, the demand for nurses is very high, which means more opportunities and good salaries and benefits too. But the biggest rewards come, as you might suspect, from helping others. I have victories that every day, every little milestone that's reached. It's never a routine, because you never know what's going to happen. Are you ready to make a difference in the world? To get more information about becoming a registered nurse, talk to a nurse or your guidance counselor, or go to discovernursing.com. Perhaps then one day, you too will be able to say with pride, This is who I am. I am a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. Be a nurse. They dare to care. This film has been sponsored by the Johnson & Johnson family of companies. At Johnson & Johnson, we know that caring is the essence of nursing. Now, as you saw from the video, there are many parts to being an RN. The curriculum that we have here in South Texas College is we're gonna train you to become a nurse generalist. And what do I mean by that? In a given semester, we'll be teaching you how to take care of adult patients and their families. A given semester, we'll be teaching you how to take care of pediatric, pregnant women, psychiatric patients. Because once you take that National Cancer for Licensure Examination, the question may stem from those courses. But once you become an RN, you do have the liberty to choose a field of nursing, and there are many fields of nursing to choose from. Not to mention, there are many settings that you can work. You can work in hospital, home health, in corporate, in cruise ship, in airplanes, and not to mention the school. In hospital alone, there are many departments you can choose from. You can work in ER. If you have a type A personality, I would recommend that. If you're the type of person that you like the adrenaline, ER works best for you. Critical care ICU, neonatal ICU, pediatric ICU. If you love dealing with babies, there is nursery, uh, pediatric, uh, neonatal ICU. For those of you who have a laid back personality, you can work in ER, uh, wound care department. Uh, you can become a school clinic nurse, home health nurse. So there are many options to choose from. Okay. And I always remind my students and advise them that once you become an RN, choose something that you are passionate about. In that way, when you work as an RN, it feels like you're just having a vacation. Not to mention as well, also, the, one of the perks of being an RN is the flexibility. Looking at your work schedule as an RN, as a full-time RN, in a given two weeks, you'll receive your paycheck, right? You'll be working three days in a week for one week followed by three to four days of work, 12 hour shift, and you will receive your paycheck. So in a given week, you do, in a given paycheck period, you do have seven days off. So you do have the opportunity to do your leisure time, but what I recommend is for you to pursue your education from RM to BSN, MSN, or to the terminal degree, which we call it the doctoral degree. What a perfect segue to talk about the different tracks, the different degree for nursing. The first one is the degree that we offer here at South Texas College. The second one is the Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, which are commonly found in universities, which take four years to complete. 
And then the last one, you have the graduate programs. You have the master's degree in nursing, which is the basic level entry to become a nurse practitioner. And the highest degree that you can attain in the RN degree is the doctoral degree or the doctor of nursing practice. So let's talk about uh, STC RN program, specifically at South Texas College. With all humility, we are accredited by Texas Board of Nursing and Regional Accrediting Body Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. We call it the SACS. After meeting all the requirements of the program, your diploma will state Associate of Applied Science, major in Associate Degree Nursing. You now have the eligibility to take the National Council for Licensure Examination, and after passing the test, then the Texas state will give you the legal license to practice RN in the state. Um, our job placement rate for the year 2012 was 99%, and the year after that was 98%. This is very significant for you guys because, number one, how do we define job placement rate? From the time that our students graduated, Within six months, they were able to find jobs. And this is our placement rate. So let's take a look at the two phases on how to be in the program. The first one is the application phase. Most of this, you already uh, have these requirements. You must be a high school graduate, or GED or its equivalent. You must be a TSI complete. The peculiar nursing entrance examination that we require for our students is the HESI A2, which stands for Admission Assessment Exam. When you take this test class, you're going to be evaluated on your grammar, sentencing, and does the English component. You need to get 75% or better. The science, you have the option to choose chemistry, biology, microbiology, and a and I want you to take only the a and portion only. Okay, and you need to get 75% or better. The last one is the math, which is 75% or better. Once you see the result, you see the composite, your overall score. We don't take a look at that. What we look at is each component, you need to get 75% or better. When you take this test, there are only two versions of the test. You can combine your results within a given eligibility period or within a semester. What do I mean by that? If let's say you're going to take HESI 8 to today, and most of my students, they fall short on the A and B, you get 80% in English, and then in math, you get 82%. However, in A and B, you get 72%. The second time you take the second version of the HESI 8 to, you only need to take the science portion within a given semester. In the event that you still didn't get the minimum score for A and B, you need to wait for the next semester, and you have to take the whole three components. Okay. Once you take this test, you'll also be evaluated what type of personality you have and what kind of learner you are, which I believe uh, from this class, you already know what type of personality you have and what kind of learner you are. Okay. You must earn a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.0 and a 4.0 scale in all courses of the ADN. One of the prerequisites that we require is RNSG 1209, which is called the Introduction to Nursing. Uh, we're going to offer uh, that course this coming summer, the whole summer from June 1 to August 15. It's only going to be once a week. But for you to be registered for this course, you need to pass first the HESI A2 test before you can register for that course. Okay. Um, you must satisfy program specific requirements for clinical examples of this are your hepatitis B series, uh, your TB tests, your CPR, so on and so forth. Once you are admitted in the program, we're going to orient you more as to the different requirements for the clinical. But as, as early as now, if you have not done your hepatitis B, because sometimes it takes six months to complete the three series. Even though you, then you apply and then you get admitted, if you don't have the three shots of hepatitis B, you won't get admitted to the program. Okay? For those of you who have taken other courses outside STC, and if you think that course will be transferable to us, all you need to do is call this number and make an appointment to see me in that way. Uh, I will do the course substitution process online if it is deemed that that course is transferable to STC. Looking at your handout that I have given you, the very first box that you see there, 
That is the traditional prop or traditional trap. There are about uh, four prerequisites. These are your English 1301, ANP 1, ANP 2, and Introduction to Nursing. 1301, if you do have 1302, let's say for example 1301 you get a B, and your 1302 is an A, we can substitute your highest grade once you apply for the program. With that said, don't ever ever retake 1301 to get a highest or an A grade. Why don't you take instead 1302 if you haven't taken 1302? You're hitting two birds in one, so if you do that one, we can substitute 1302 to 1301. And second is, if you pursue your bachelor's degree of any disciplines, they, they do require two courses of English. 1301 and 1302. By the mere fact that you already finished these prerequisites with a B or better, you are already eligible to apply for the program. The other two courses that you see down there, we call it the core requisites. You can take these courses while you are in the program, but my recommendation for you is take them first, okay, get it out of the way. So that once you are in the program, all you need to concentrate on are the nursing courses. Second reason is if you apply and have taken all these core requisites, it gives you more points towards the competitive score system. Okay? I'm going to explain to you how, how we select our students. Obviously, the more A's you have, the better. For every A that you earn in the course, <coughs> We'll give you four points. If you earn a B, we give you three points to be multiplied to the number of credit for that course. If let's say A and P1, you get an A. A and P1 has four credits. You got an A that's four points. Four times four, you get 16 points for A and P1 already. Okay? There are different tracks or ladders uh, that we offer at South Texas College RN program. You have the traditional or the generic, which we admit twice a year, every fall and spring. LVN to RN track, which we admit every spring and summer. I would like to briefly discuss about the progressive VN to ADN track. If for some reason your plan A is to apply to the generic track and for some reason you didn't get accepted, Please don't lose your hope in becoming an RN. Just remember the statistics. By the year 2030 to 2032, we're going to be a hot commodity as far as occupations is concerned. Okay? And it only takes two years to become an RN. Again, the progressive VN to ADN track is you need to apply to the VN first. They only admit once a year. Once they review your transcript, if they uh, see that you also have prerequisites towards the RN program, they're going to offer you the progressive VN to ADN track. You're going to finish the LVN for one year, usually 10 and a half months or 11 months, from fall to fall. You pass the LVN board exam, and since you are in the track, by spring, all you need to do is transfer with us without having to compete with the rest of the students and pursue LVN to ADN for one more year. Okay? And we only do that every spring. The summer admission for LVN is usually open to the LVN outside the community. And the last track that we offer is paramedic to our entry. These are the prerequisites. We, I think we already discussed them and also the co-requisites. Uh, this coming fall of 2015, this is going to be the new degree plan. And as a result of the Texas Senate Bill 497, mandating that all Associate Applied Science degrees, not just nursing, but the whole Associate Applied Science across the state of Texas, must come down to 60 credits minimum. Now looking at your handouts, on the second page, that is the whole prospectus of the ADN degree plan. Uh, we do admit again every fall and spring. The spring prospectus is also the same as the fall. So let's say for example, if you are eligible to apply for the program this coming fall, 
I would like to uh, inform everyone that the application is from June 1 to June 12. Okay? I want you to watch our website. It's not updated yet because uh, we are still following the LVN admission this coming two weeks. And then after that, I'm going to update the website for the traditional track. So if you get admitted with us on the fall semester, these are the four courses that you have to take. And then you'll continue spring, right? Okay. And then summer, usually you're, you're off. What I recommend for my students is instead of not doing anything, why don't you take courses towards your bachelor's degree? In that way, once you finish your degree with us, pass the APLEX licensure examination, become an RN, all you need to do is pursue RN to BSN via online. Okay. With that said, we do have three articulation agreements with the following universities. Texas Tech University, University of Texas Tyler, and also Texas A&M. That if you finish our program, all you need to do is take their prerequisites and then transfer to their university, take the BSN program online, and you don't need to go in school face-to-face or do clinical because you are RN already, okay? So for those of you who are still having second thought of choosing nursing as their profession, I want you, I want you to identify a mentor, volunteer at the hospital. Again, in life you need to have plan A and plan B. If for some reason your plan A would not materialize. Remember our ladders. We do have LVN to our end track. We do have paramedic to our end track as well. For those of you who are taking their prerequisites right now, like sciences, medical terminology, uh, know them by heart, because if you do have a strong foundation in those courses, well, guess what? You are ahead of the ball game when it comes to the nursing courses, because all we talk about are the abnormalities. Get immunized as early as now, as early as day one of your ADM program with us. We're going to teach you to behave like an RN and think like an RN. Uh, when you take that A2 composite, uh, aim a high composite score, again, we do average those three. Whatever average you get for math, English, and science, if you, your average is 92 to 100, you get three points, okay? 82 to uh, 91, two points. 75 to 81 is one point, okay? And again, for those of you who are currently taking the, the courses, challenge yourself and make an A. The course that you're taking right now with Mr. Williams, Cali Successful Healthcare, has a bearing towards the score system. If you get an A in the scores, you're going to get one point towards your score system. If you get a B, you get half a point. If you do have a degree with us, a certificate in PTCA at Texas College, additional one point for you towards your score system. These are the websites that I highly recommend to know more about nursing. I highly recommend the first one because it talks about the full spectrum of nursing from LVN up to uh, doctoral degrees in nursing. Questions so far?